Hello everyone, welcome to Bill's Mafia. This week brings one of the videos I've been most eagerly anticipating, Josh Allen, Projectile Data Vomit. Now this video builds off of the last Bill's Mafia episode where we calculated the average velocity of this Josh Allen to Gabe Davis throw in quarter one of the preseason week three tilt against the Chicago Bears. Now average velocity is a term I'm using very deliberately as you'll see in a little bit. And the reason this is one of the videos I've really been looking forward to is just exactly how nerdy this particular one goes. Now, if you recall last time, we calculated the throw distance on this one as 21.9 yards with an average velocity of about 45 miles per hour. Now, let me introduce you to the projectile motion calculator. I'm going to do a quick pitch to omnicalculator.com. There are multiple projectile motion calculators available online, but omnicalculator.com brings you the quick ability to input the variables you have in any order and it'll then give you the rest of them. So let's take a look at what that looks like. With the last video, again, I just mentioned, we calculated the total distance of that throw to be 21.9 yards. While I mentioned the velocity with that information, what I'd like to point out is that for a projectile motion calculator, average velocity is not necessarily the most relevant metric. So I'm going to avoid that here and instead let the calculator give me initial velocity, which is the launch velocity from Josh Allen's fingertips, which is a different metric. And you'll see it's a little bit different than that 45 measurement that I had from last video. Now, the other piece of information I'm going to start with is the time of travel. And this is one of the reasons why I'm so particular about validating my GIF software to make sure that my frames per second are accurate. Now, before we move forward, I'm going to need a third piece of information in order for the calculator to give me the rest of this. If you go to omnicalculator.com's projectile motion calculator, you'll see just below the spot where you put the data is this diagram. And one of the easiest pieces of information for me to get, I know it's a little hard to read here, is this H, which is your initial launch height. Now, the assumption with a projectile motion calculator is that the projectile, in this case a football, will end at a zero point. We know that's not true because the pass was completed to Gabe Davis. So what we really want to try to calculate or estimate in this case is the launch height, which is the height off of the ground from Josh Allen's throwing motion to the catch point for Gabe Davis. So let's take a look at the screen grabs from the two critical points with this play. We see Josh Allen is on his tippy toes. He's throwing at about the top of his head level. So we can approximate this as about six and a half feet off of the ground. Now we're going to move to Gabe Davis, who's catching this from a crouch position, roughly at his chest slash shoulder level. We're going to guess this one at about four feet. The angles make this very difficult. And of all of the things we can be particular about with the projectile motion calculator, this is one of the ones that precision isn't quite as necessary, though I do stand by that two and a half foot difference uh, pretty well. I think it's a good enough estimate. Now, if you're using this calculator live, you'll see that the second you put in that third bit of data, it's gonna spit out the rest. So let's take a look at this, because again, what we want is that projectile data vomit, and here it is. So in addition to our average velocity, which we calculated last time of about 45 miles per hour, which is actually a little bit under, we now know that Josh Allen's throw from his fingertips was actually traveling closer to 46 miles per hour. Most of you probably know that the optimal launch angle to get the maximum distance is about 45 degrees. So Josh Allen was throwing this at about a 11.7, roughly 12 degree angle uh, from the launch point, which is more optimized for speed. So when you see a commentator say something like throwing on a frozen rope or a laser, you are looking at this kind of lower launch angle to maximize speed. And interestingly enough, with that phrase, the idea here is that it's going almost in a straight line, which is not entirely accurate. So Josh Allen's pass did elevate above his head about five and a third feet. So again, from that uh, 6.5 feet estimate we have from the launch angle, you can figure out the math here. That pass is fairly high, which still could go over you know, a defender here or there. So to help you visualize, I made this photorealistic graphic of Josh Allen's pass and then filling in some of that pertin pertinent data. 
And this is really the ultimate point of that projectile motion calculator is to give us the rest of the information on a path, which is not following a straight line, but instead this parabolic arc. All right, that's about as nerdy as things will ever get on a video for football. So let's leave it there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, there's probably way more interesting content out there. So please go enjoy that as well. Thank you.